Joining us this morning is the CEO of Newell Brands, Ravi Salagram. Ravi, welcome back. It's always good to have you. Thank you, sir, very much for inviting me back. Uh, it's a fascinating look at uh, at where we are really in the broad economy because we mentioned some of the metrics, but in general, uh, the take is that the consumer continues to be incredibly aggressive. And it sounds like you think it's really home spending that has continued momentum. Uh, absolutely, Carl. This is the home has become the hub. And post COVID, uh, it is really uh, people are spending a lot more time at home. And uh, given that the home has become both the workplace, uh, the place to take care of kids, to cook, to eat. So that, and we are very well positioned with the great brands we have, be it Rubbermaid or Ball or uh, Oster and so on. So, uh, and people for relaxation are using, and to uplift their moods after a stressful day, are using Yankee Candle uh, for serenity and so on. And we're really seeing uh, the amount of cooking that's going on. The number of meals, 80% of people are cooking and eating meals at home. It is the highest in the 50 years. So that gives you a sense. There's a lot more occasions, right? Breakfast and lunch, dinner, et cetera. <laughs> so that is very, very positive. And all of that's having a great impact on our, on our brands. And of course, the fiscal stimulus only added Philip to all of this. Right. Now, of course, you're also exposed to some commercial categories. There's food service in there. Obviously, Sharpie and Paper Mate are, are exposed to the office uh, uh, culture. Where do you see that going? Uh, how, how consistent do you sort of see this return to office mentality expanding? Is that going to be a thing this year? So I think the most important thing for us, we saw a writing business, which is a very important business for us. It's a very critical business with high gross margins. Uh, that we started seeing back to school in person. Uh, about 61% of school districts are in person and about 47% of students are in person. So that is really helping our business. We saw that our writing business grew at the same rate as the company in the quarter, which was tremendous. And that is uh, quite exciting for us. In fact, the office channel, the overall channel, for the first time grew very modestly, but grew. So now, as far as offices are concerned, that's going to be more of a hybrid for the rest of the year. And <clears throat> so that does have some softness. But for us, schools and universities are the biggest aspect uh, of the writing business. But we also have other things in, that, in the writing business. Dymo, our labeling business, grew share, consumption, and sales. Mm -hmm. And so that's a big positive. So, uh, and with the launch of Sharpie S gel, our pen, uh, uh, gel pen, yeah. that has just yeah. captured America's imagination. Yeah, Ravi, it's Morgan. I'm curious. I mean, you also said in the results last week that the second half of 2021 is difficult to predict given the global uncertainties around COVID and also evolving consumer habits, yet you upped guidance for the year after one quarter. Uh, what gave you the confidence to feel you could do that? So uh, thank you for that, Morgan. It's really, yes, the second half, because we are comping uh, huge growth from last year. Second half, we were up 6%. So the question is, how will we do? But we felt with our projections that we'll actually be higher than 2019. And a lot of that has to do with the continuation of consumer trends, whether it's cooking. And then a big part of it is we believe that most of students We'll be back in school. We'll have a normal back to school season, and that's a big factor for us. So that's exciting. And the thing was, Morgan, all eight businesses of ours performed well and grew. Uh, and seven out of eight actually grew double digits. And it was across the world, all four yeah. regions, across all channels. That gave us the confidence. And we're lapping a fairly poor quarter last year, second quarter. So we were able to significantly up that. We said 17 to 20 percent uh, organic sales guidance. So I think that all of that contributes to a optimistic view uh, for us that uh, Newell's really back and the turnaround is really, really gaining momentum. Yeah, but do you really think people are going to be cooking as much in their homes and buying Yankee candles and as they start to return to the office and start to just go out in general? So, uh, look, there, there may be the levels may come down a bit. 
but just think about Morgan, the number of eating occasions that's increased. And this hybrid model is going to stay at least through the rest of this year. But also, I think all companies are reevaluating and providing more flexibility to their employees. So with that, we do think that there will be a remnant of this. But just think about this in terms of like ball jars. We brought a whole new set of users in who are using it not just for canning, but for a lot of other things. So interest in pantry organization, the dream pantry on Pinterest and other Instagram, et cetera, is up like a thousand percent. We think some of these trends are going to stay. Plus, we're innovating quite a bit. We're putting a lot of meaningful consumer innovations. With that, we believe that we're going to be able to sustain growth as we go forward. Ravi, you, got, you guys have a fascinating set of eyes on both office and home, and uh, we look forward to checking in with you in uh, quarters to come. Appreciate it very much. Thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.